Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learners Planet. Friends, in this session we are going to discuss about comparison of ranks. Uh, certain information is provided and based on that information sometimes one, two and sometimes three, four, five questions are asked. Right? So, uh, let's begin the session. Now, let's see this question and try to figure it out. Who has scored the lowest that we have to find out? Now, Preeti scored more than Rahul. What I do is I write the data in ascending order. Preeti more than Rahul. Yamuna scored as much as Divya. So, Yamuna and Divya on the same lines. Lokita scored less than Manju. Lokita less than Manju. Now, Rahul scored more than Yamuna. Rahul scored more than Yamuna. And Yamuna is uh, with par with Divya. So, Y and D over here. Now, Manju score less than Divya. That means Manju should be after this. So, it's Manju. And Manju has scored more than Lokita. So, Manju has scored more than Lokita. So, we got the order. Now, who has scored the lowest? That is L. That is Lokita. Right? Quite a simple problem, friends. Now, Roshan is taller than Hardik, who is shorter than Sushil. Now, Roshan is taller than Hardik and Hardik is shorter than Sushil, right? Okay, Niza is taller than Harry but shorter than Hardik. So, it's Niza over here and Niza is taller than Harry. but shorter than Hardik and Sushil is shorter than Roshan. Now we have the two relationship. This Hardik is uh, shorter than uh, Roshan and uh, Hardik is shorter than Sushil as well. But at last we are given that Sushil is shorter than Roshan. That means R is, that means Roshan is the tallest. Right? We can see the sequence as well. So Roshan is the tallest. Now, among five boys, Vasant is taller than Manohar. Vasant is taller than Manohar, but not as tall as Raju. That means Raju is taller than Vasant. Now, Jayant is taller than Datta. Jayant is taller than Datta, but shorter than Manohar. That means Jayant is shorter than Manohar. So, it's Jayant and Jayant is taller than Datta, right? Now, Raju is uh, taller than Vasant and Vasant is taller than these three guys. That means Raju is the tallest, right? Now, friends, uh, we have four questions based on this uh, information. Here, two comparisons are there. One is like uh, health and like uh, fat, fatness and other is uh, height, right? So, height and weight, two combinations are there in which we have to arrange the uh, this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 persons, right? Now, E is taller than D. So, E is taller than D. Here, I am arranging height wise. And on the other side, I arrange weight wise, right? So, E is taller than D, but not as fat as D. That means D is fatty than E, right? Now, C is taller than A, but shorter than B. C is taller than A, but shorter than B, right? This is further height comparison. A is fatter than D. So, A is fatter than D, but not as fat as B, right? That means A is less fatter than B. Now, E is thinner than C. Who is thinner than D? 
that means c should lie between d and e so i write c over here and e over here now c is thinner than d and e is thinner than c so we got the sequence of uh, weight that is b a d c and e right now e uh, we have to arrange the heights also e is shorter than a now b is uh, taller than c c is taller than a and e is shorter than a that means the sequence will be followed over here so it's b c a e and d now this is the sequence of height and this is the sequence of weight so this is a decreasing order and this is also decreasing order right now who is the thinnest person so who is the thinnest person that is e right who is the big giant among the lot so it's b is a uh, fattest person so it's b if all the persons stood in a line according to their height who would be in the middle so who would be in the middle that is a right which person is taller than 3 but thinner than the other 3 now taller than 3 that should be the second position so c is taller than the 3 and c is thinner than the 3 as well so c is the correct choice so we did the question so quickly once we arrange the data in this format so i hope you are clear now let's take this set of questions here sunita is taller than seema and renu so it is sunita it is taller than seema and sunita is taller than renu right now renu is shorter than radha so renu shorter than radha and gauri as well Bina is taller than Radha, so this is Radha and this is Bina over here. And shorter than Sunita, so Bina is shorter than Sunita, right? So we got the sequence. Now, friends. Renu, Radha, Bina, and Seema. We got a sequence. Now we are left with two percent. One is uh, this uh, Gauri, and other is Seema. Right now we have to arrange these two persons. Now. it is given over here sunita is not the tallest and reno is not the shortest that means the extreme positions are not occupied by sunita and reno that means one person should be over here and other person should be over here right now we have to arrange seema now sunita is taller than seema here sunita is as a extreme position so seema cannot be over here on the right side of sunita the so sunita will be definitely over here now renu is not the uh, shortest because shortest is sunita i'm sorry the seema now the extreme position other extreme position should be occupied by the other person that is gauri now the sequence is seema renu radha bina sunita and gauri right now who is the tallest the tallest is gauri who is the shortest the shortest is seema that is none of these over here what is the position of radha from the short end so radha is it's a first second third position and which of the statement is definitely correct that is bina occupies the third position from the top so bina occupies 
the third position from the top so it's top like gauri sunita and bina yeah this is correct seema is taller than reno seema it's not correct because seema is shortest then gauri is shorter than radha that is also incorrect because gauri is the tallest so we are left with the one correct option that is bina occupies the third position from the top so i hope you are clear now friends uh, let's take this set of question there are six question in this set two uh, combinations are there that is sweet and deadly now we have to find out which uh, compound is sweet and which compound is deadly and at which rank right now we have to arrange the data in two format that is one is sweetness and other is deadliness right so after doing four to five problems i would suggest over here that just pause the session uh, read the information and try to make uh, give the ranks on your own then match uh, the solution and answer with mine right so let's take u is sweeter than v first of all there are two arrangement sweetness and deadliness right now u is sweeter than v and more deadly than z so u is deadly deadlier than z now v is sweeter than y u is sweeter than v and v is sweeter than y and v is less deadly than z okay so it's v over here right now w is less sweet than x that means x x is sweeter than w and w is less sweet than x and less deadly than u that means u is more deadly than w right w is less sweet than x and less deadly than u that means w is less deadly than u right now x is less sweet and more deadly than y so x is less sweet so i would put x over here now x was more sweet than w so it's w over here so x is less sweet and more deadly than y so x is less sweet than y and x is more deadly than y right now y is less sweet and more deadly than u so y is already less sweet and y is more deadly than u that means y should be over here right now z is sweeter than u and less deadly than w so z is sweeter than u and less deadly than w uh first of all y is uh x is more deadlier than y and y is in this sequence so i would put x over here right now u is x is less sweet and more deadly than y y is less sweet and more deadly than u and w is less sweet and less deadly than u that means u is more deadlier than w right so, and z is sweeter than u and less deadly than w that means w should lie in between so this is u is greater than w that is greater than z and greater than v so this sequence is x y x y u w z and v this is the sequence of deadliness and this is the sequence of sweetness right now let's answer the questions first question is which is the sweetest so which is the sweetest that is z now which of the following is are both sweeter and more deadly than v 
now sweeter than sweeter and deadly than v so sweeter than v are z and u and deadlier than v are all of them z w u y x so u and z are common so we take u and z right next is which of the following adds no new information about sweetness to the statements that precede it see friends we didn't use the statement uh, y is less sweet and more deadly than u right we have written the all the statements over here and over here but we didn't use that because without this information even we could solve the problem so y is less sweet and more deadly than u statement 5 we didn't use right so it's this then which of the following is are sweeter than y and more deadly than w sweeter than y and more deadly than w sweeter than y are all this z u and v and more deadly than w so more deadly than w i just write it over here more deadly than w is x y and u x y and u and uh, sweeter than y is z u n v so which is the common that is u right so it's u only now which is the least deadly which is the least deadly that is v right and which is the most deadly that is x okay so with the information we did this six questions right so i hope you are clear with all the six questions and this is how we do the problems uh, based on arrangement or ranking right so i hope you are clear now and you can do the problems on your own now so let's meet in the next session once again with some new uh, topics